Up for review today, we have a 960M equipped notebook from Gigabyte, the P34G V5. Now before you go clicking away because of its last generation GPU, just note that most of what I have to say will still transfer over into the refresh generation and still stands true even if the GPU gets a little faster. For specs, the P34 comes with a 14-inch Full HD 1080p IPS panel. The IPS display was pleasantly vibrant and the high pixel density made images sharp and crisp with minimal backlight bleed. The actual panel that holds the display is, as is the rest of the notebook, remarkably thin, aiding in the one finger lift design. Rounding out the rest of the internals, there's an i7-6700HQ processor, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, a 128GB solid state drive, and a 1TB hard drive with 867 megabit per second AC Wi-Fi. The 10 keyless Chiclet keyboard was as good as you can expect from Chiclet keys, no complaints from me, and the white backlight was bright enough to enjoy in dark environments. The smooth touchpad was easy to use, properly responsive, and I'm entirely grateful for the fact that Gigabyte chose to include a dedicated click button as opposed to one integrated into the touchpad. The touchpad is likely one of the best that I've used on a small form factor notebook. Bonus points for me here. Speaking of bonus points, Gigabyte again wins with the plethora of ports that are included even though this is a small form factor notebook. On the right side you get dual USB 3.0 ports, an SD card reader, HDMI out, and the power input. On the left there's a combo mic and headphone port, a USB Type-C port, non-Thunderbolt, a third USB 3.0 port, VGA out, Gigabit Ethernet jack, and finally the ever-present Kensington lock. Battery life on the 61 watt hour battery is alright, coming in at just over 2 hours on the PC Mark 8 battery life test. Webcam wise, the 720p camera is actually really poor. Even in direct lighting conditions, like right now, it makes my face appear like it's in the shadows and doesn't adjust the exposure properly. However, the microphone is actually of relatively good quality. The cooling performance on the P34G is sufficient, keeping the GPU to a max temp of 84 degrees and the CPU to a max of 92 degrees during all of my benchmarking. And the noise isn't too bad either with the fans staying below 60 decibels even at full tilt. Here's some quick benchmark numbers from the 960M GPU. It's fairly adequate for 1080p gaming with a few detail settings dropped here and there on your games. Keep in mind these benchmark numbers were run on the game's max details minus anti-aliasing, so you'll likely experience better frame rates if you allow your system to auto set the detail levels for you. Overall, the P34G V5 from Gigabyte is a solid 14 inch notebook. It's not as fast as the MSI GS40 that I've reviewed previously, or as powerful as let's say a Razer Blade, but it certainly gets the job done. For a small productivity notebook that can do some light gaming on the side, the P34G is as robust as they come. The 1080p panel was gorgeous, the touchpad is wonderful, the keyboard is good enough, especially with the included backlight, and there's enough I.O. ports that you won't be starved. Honestly, this would be one of the perfect notebooks for me to take when I'm traveling, as the 6700HQ with a dedicated GPU is all I need to get my video production done. Pump the RAM up to 32GB on the two SODIMM slots, and I'll be taking this with me whenever I'm on the road. The main thing to note is that Gigabyte really didn't leave anything out to make sure the notebook was so thin. Sure, there's things that simply can't fit without being ridiculous, such as an optical drive and the 10 key numpad, but with plenty of I.O., decent cooling, and dedicated click buttons, something that's been left out of other companies' products, the P34G satisfies all my requirements to earn my seal of approval. And with that, I'd like to thank Gigabyte South Africa for sending this notebook over for review. In case you want to see what one of their 10 series equipped notebooks is like, check out my video right there to see my review of the P57X with the GTX 1070. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about the P34G that I may have gone into less detail than you had hoped for or may have missed altogether. I'll do my best to answer them as thoroughly as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech related content and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.